how these few weeks been? Uh, busy, uh, extremely busy. Days are long, but uh, making a lot of progress. Happy with the bike. Uh, you know, everything's going good. Rode a stock bike for a while and just got some parts pretty much before we left to come here. So uh, all in all, pretty, pretty darn good. That was probably a big change. Like, when was the last time you rode a full stock bike? It had probably been a while. Yeah, forever. And it, it was it was weird, but I think it's good because you learn the bike and learn how it is, and then you can add stuff on it. You really see what it changes, and you know, usually you start with pretty much a full factory bike, and you don't really know like what the base is. So it was good to you know know the base of the bike. But the Suzuki has a really good chassis, which has been nice because I kind of lost my turning skills for a while there, got them back now, so it's pretty pretty fun. These first few weeks on that thing, like, could you tell an immediate difference and did you have to change a lot of your riding style? Didn't have to change really anything. It was just, like, cornering and the thing, the chassis turns really good. It's pretty impressive. It's uh, more more forgiving, if that makes sense. Like, if you come short on something, it doesn't really buck you too hard, which is pretty awesome in Supercross. But, uh, yeah, it's a really good bike. And, uh, you know, the engine's actually really smooth. A lot of people say it's slow, but we got uh, some good power out of it already. And, you know, Pretty close to our end on spec, I would say, so pretty good stuff. Hey, coming over here and doing this race, I mean, this is in the middle of a busy time of year, and, and talking to Ben earlier, it does help you guys out a lot, or is it kind of detrimental because you're not just doing test laps? Um, so we hammered out pretty much three weeks of testing, and uh, like at this point, they're kind of catching up, getting parts, uh, getting stuff made and trying to get more stuff. So by the time we get home, they'll have some more stuff for us to try, hopefully. And uh, I think for for me, it was definitely worth coming here just to you know, see where I'm at, see how the bike is, <clears throat> and uh, you know, go from there. Marvin was driving really good. You know, he's been racing a lot, and uh, I'm pretty happy where I was at. Obviously, got a few things to work on, but uh, not not mad about it. Really. These like, how were the two days? Was it? I mean, that's not a lot of time to ride, and you're riding on a track that's nothing like what you'll race in the U.S. Yeah, it was challenging for sure. Um, I think all in all, it was pretty good. The first night was was good. The main event, I you know got in the second behind Marvin, kind of had a good, pretty good lead. I closed in a little bit, and at the end, I lost him a little. So all in all, that was it was pretty good. And then uh, tonight was not exactly how I wanted to go. I just didn't feel that comfortable. I, I struggled with arm pump a lot the whole weekend, so uh, I think just because it was cold, not really good warm-up routines, and uh, you know, the track was tough. It was sticky, really sticky, really ruddy. So, but besides, really, besides the only negative was the arm pump thing. You know, everything else was good. The bike was good. Uh, you know, everything went well. Cool. Uh, you've got a little bit of time to train back in California, North Carolina, yep. and then back over here for Geneva. Yeah. Uh, so, what do these next few weeks look like? Yeah, next few weeks be more testing and uh, working on a little, the few little issues I, I felt like I had here. And uh, you know, you don't want to get spun out because this track is a lot different than anything in the U.S. But uh, you know, I did learn some stuff, and I think I'll go home and fine tune the bike, and uh, you know, be there for Geneva. Marvin will be there as well, so I'll be able to see where I'm at. Hey, coming off last year. I wouldn't say it was a wash, but there were definitely some challenges from the start. Um, do you have renewed confidence going into next year and just ready to like erase everything that happened in 2016? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, the last few years I've been super challenging and not not the greatest, that's for sure. So pretty much a clean slate, and uh, yeah, start with a clean slate, new bike, a lot of new parts, a lot of new stuff, and uh, you know, luckily for me, I kept all my same sponsors, so that's pretty cool. You know, Alpine Stars, Mirai, Scott. People that have been sticking behind me for these tough years, so uh, we'll see. I think it's gonna be good, just a clean slate.